Hello guys, today I'm answering a question from one of you on YouTube. So we talk a lot about how to write code, but we don't talk enough about what to do with that code to make it production ready and how to maintain the app when it is launched live. So this is what the question is about. You can pause and read full of it, but I will rephrase that, how to maintain the app after launch. This is the essence. And in this video, I will show you a few tips or tricks or tools, what I do personally and my team does. And in the comments below, you may add many more of those. But this is what just came from the top of my head, what I do and what I recommend to do to have a Laravel application in live stable. First thing, a feature of Laravel, which you need to enable immediately in every project is prevent lazy loading because by far the number one reason for eloquent performance issues is n plus one query on production server and funny thing those n plus one queries you don't really feel them until you launch project to live and you have enough users so you would feel the performance locally with not a lot of data usually developers don't even feel the amount of queries and then for they don't really test for that if you enable preventing lazy loading then if n plus one query happens, so if you forgot to eager load something, then Laravel would throw exception and would not load the page. There are more things that you can prevent and you can enable the full strict mode in Eloquent and I have a separate video on that and I will link that in the description below. But the quickest way to fight against n plus one query performance issues is enable that from the very beginning. Next thing, also kind of a prevention thing, install this package, Spotty Laravel Backup, which is probably the most popular package for backups and backup your database. Your code is usually on GitHub, so you don't need to backup that, but the database, I would suggest daily backups. And that's the thing that you can configure once and kind of forget about it. So when you launch your project live, install that package, configure where to store backups on the same server, which is not advisable, probably somewhere externally on Amazon S3 or something. So if something goes wrong with your application or with your data, you would have a backup from yesterday or a week ago or something. It's extremely easy to configure and I also have a video about that and I will link that in the description below. So this is a no brainer to install before going live. The third thing I would enable before going live or immediately after is install some kind of bug tracking software. In my case, I'm showing bug snag and there are alternatives, Sentry, Rollbar, Flare from Spotty and others. They are all not free, but what you have here is immediate notification if some bug happens for real users because otherwise you wouldn't notice. If you have some kind of log configuration that the bug would log automatically to your Laravel log, for example, you would need to additionally set up something to get that notification somewhere on Slack or email and then get the information about that request. So what happened, why, and how to debug it. So what tools like Bugsnack do, and here's an example from our Laravel daily staging, we were playing around with Laravel Spark webhooks and team plans, and this is what happens. For example, you have a bug, you have exactly where it happened, and with all the data about the request, about the user, if that's a user, about the device, IP address, and basically any information you need to reproduce the situation. On top of that, you can configure notifications to Slack, email, and stuff I mentioned already. You can add team members. So for example, assign some project to specific developers to be notified, and then you can group those events, and then you can pass the events manually. So a lot of features on top of just logging the errors. So Bugsnack at the moment, I'm paying from what I remember, $29 per month or $39. Pricing is pretty similar for all of those tools, but in my opinion, it's a no brainer to pay because it would massively pay off even during the first month of informing you about the bugs and saving you time to debug them. I also have a separate video about bug snack versus flare. So I will also link that in the description below. The fourth thing, and I can't stress that enough, is automated tests. Have automated tests, at least for some basic parts of your application, like do the pages load correctly? Roles and permissions, do they work? Payments, do they work? Because otherwise it's really easy to break something. So automated test would ensure that if some code parts are changed, 
it would catch any bugs from previous features because quite often someone builds a feature without knowing that that feature affects some other feature done by other developer two years ago and then stuff breaks and no one notices until the customer reports a bug. So to prevent that, and this is where I'm showing my own courses, I have a few, so testing for beginners and testing advanced level. And I also have a lot of free videos, so you can just search for testing on Laravel Daily Com, and I will also link that in the description below. But I do highly recommend to start writing tests if you don't already. And actually, I think I will stop here. I already see that video comes over my five minutes typical short video. So these are four main recommendations from the top of my head of how to ensure your Laravel application to be more stable in production when it's launched live. What would you add to that list? What are your ways or your tricks to, so to speak, sleep better at night? Share your comments below and let's discuss. And see you guys in other videos.